Hi, this is a medium difficulty problem solving practice question. This GMAT practice question is from permutation combination. A very interesting question. How many five digit positive integers comprising only the digits 1, 2, 3 and 4 each appearing at least once exist such that the number is divisible by 4? So following things have been told about these numbers, right? These numbers should be five digit positive integers. They should comprise only the digits 1, 2, 3, 4 with a condition that each of these digits 1, 2, 3 and 4 should appear at least once. And lastly, what is said is these numbers should be divisible by 4. Let's get started. These are five digit positive integers which are formed using the digits 1, 2, 3, 4 and each of these digits should appear at least once. So all of these numbers are going to comprise 1, 2, 3, 4 in any order in all the different reorderings that are possible and then the fifth digit can be a 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. It's not the fifth digit. The second, one other number that we are going to be using could be a 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, right? So the reorderings of these are what is allowed, right? There's one more condition to be satisfied, which is that the number should be divisible by 4. We'll take that as a second part. So essentially, 1, 2, 3, 4, five digit numbers. All of these digits should appear at least once. So made them appear once. We need one more digit. That one more digit could be either 1 or 2 or 3 or 4. Now, we'll come to the second part, which is that the number should be divisible by 4. What is the test of divisibility by 4? The rightmost two digits, rightmost two digits should be divisible by 4, divisible by 4, then the number is divisible by 4. Any number divisible by 4 will be divisible by 2 obviously, which means it's an even number. Of these 1, 2, 3, 4, the digits that we can have in the units place, if it's an even number, that's the first condition to be met for it to be divisible by 4. The unit digit can only be a 2 or a 4. So unit digit is 2 or the unit digit is 4, right? This is what we have. Now, what all possibilities can the tens place have? We have three, four more digits. What all possibilities can the tens place have so that that number and two together, the rightmost two digits will be divisible by four. If it's a one, will it make the cut? Yes, it is. 12 is divisible by four, which is a possibility. Now, this is a two. If it's a two, will it make the cut? No. 22 is what we'll have as the last two digits, which is not divisible by four. If it's a three in the tens place, will it make the cut? Yes, it would. 32 is divisible by four. If it's a 4, will it make sense? No, it's not going to make sense. So the last two digits, if they are 12 or 32, then the number is divisible by a 4. Now, when the last digit is a 4, what all possibilities do we have along the same lines? Will a 1 make the cut? No, 14 is not divisible by 4. Will a 2 make the cut? Yes, 24, yes. Will a 3 make the cut? No, 34 is not. Will a 4 make the cut? Yes, 44 is. So if the last two digits are 12 or 32 or 24, or 44, then the number is divisible by 4. I mean, I need to check out how many such possibilities exist. We'll take each one as a case and work with it. Possibility 1, we have the last two digits being at 12. If the last two digits are at 12, what all possibilities exist within that, right? We have 1 and 2 already there. So we need to necessarily include a 3, 4 here. In addition to including 3 and 4, what all digits can we have here? The uh, digit that repeats could be a 1, the digit that repeats could be a 2, the digit that repeats could be a 3, the digit that repeats could be a 4. So these are all the possibilities we have, right? So 3, 4, 1, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, 3, 3, 4, 4, all of these are possible. Now, how many such outcomes are there? 3, 4, 1 can reorder in 3 factorial ways because this is a 12. All of these are going to end in a 12. Right. So 3, 4, 1 can reorder in 3 factorial ways, which is a 6. 3, 4, 2 can reorder in 3 factorial ways. All of these are distinct digits. This reordering alone we are looking at. So that's a 6. Now we have a 3, 4, 3. This is essentially 3 digits of which 2 are repeating. So this can reorder in 3 factorial upon 2 factorial, which is 3 ways. And then we can have a 3, 4, 4, which again is 3 factorial upon 2 factorial. Therefore, that can reorder in 3 ways. So with 12 in the last two places, how many possibilities do we have? 6 plus 6, 12 plus 6, which is equal to 18 possibilities exist. Without repeating the same thing, I know that we're going to have similar 18 possibilities when we have 1, 2, 3, and then the last two digits are 32. The same thing is going to happen, right? You will need, you have seen 2 and 3 here. So 1 and 4 will be here. In addition to that, 1, 4, 1, 1, 4, 2, 1, 4, 3, 1, 4, 4. We'll have similarly 18 such possibilities for this also. 
Now, what else did we have? We had a 24 and a 44. 24 again is going to behave the same way. Without batting an eyelid, we can say that because the process is pretty much the same. 24 in the last two digits. So, we have a 2 and a 4 taken care of. In addition to that, we'll have a 1, 3 and then 1, 3, 1, 1, 3, 2, 1, 3, 3, 1, 3, 4. That will be 18 such possibilities. Done. Now comes the last bit, which need not necessarily be having the same 18 because here these two digits have been distinct. Here we have a 44. So, we have 44 accounted for in these two places. We need all four digits to be appearing 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 has been counted twice. So, which means that the other three digits 1, 2 and 3 will appear in these three places and they can reorder in these three places. Only these three can appear. You, you cannot have a 1, 2, 3 and something else because there are only three slots left and we need all four digits to appear 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 and 4 have taken the last two places. So, 1, 2, 3 necessarily will have to come in these first three leftmost three places. They can reorder in these three places in three factorial ways which is equal to 6. So, possibility 1, 2 and 3, 18 each, 18 plus 18 plus 18, when the rightmost two digits have been 12, 32 or 24. And then if the last two digits, rightmost two digits, if it's a 44, we'll have six such possibilities. 54 plus 6, 60 such five digit positive integers exist, which use the digits 1, 2, 3, 4 at least once and are formed only using these digits such that the numbers are divisible by 4, right? 60, let's look at what answer option makes sense. Choice D is the correct answer. Here is a bonus question along with this question. I uh, maintained everything exactly the same till this point, right? How many five digit positive integers comprising only the digits 1, 2, 3 and 4, each appearing at least one exists such that the number is divisible by 6. The original question that we solved, the number was divisible by 4. In this case, it's divisible by 6. These are the five answer options that we have for this. Solve this question and pick the correct answer and post your answers to the comment section of this video. Best wishes.